All right, Hayes Mega here, and I got another desktop figure show and tell here with for a Tommy Tech KLX 250. Okay, so this is not the first time I have done a figure, um, well, on a motorcycle show and tell. Um, on my motorcycle channel, Hades and Mega Moto, I did a video about the KLX 250. Okay, I have the civilian model dirt bike or dual sport KLX 250. Okay. If you want to see a if you want to see a video about that, I will put it at the end of the I'll put a link to it at the end of the video. Okay, so uh, Tommy Tech made two versions. Well, they actually made three versions of this. Okay, um, they have the civilian model KLX 250 Dual Sport, which uh, I have. Like I said, I have a video about that one, and then they have the um, the JGSDF KLX 250. Okay, and then they had the DX version, okay, and that's what this is, okay. Um, so Hayes Omega had waited more than two years to get this uh, motorcycle, okay, this toy motorcycle, okay. It's basically a pre-built model, is what it is, okay, sort of, kind of, um, and uh, it's a plastic model, okay. Um, but yeah, I waited more than two years to get this um, this motorcycle, okay, and I have, and uh, and I could have bought it. I'm not gonna lie, I probably could have bought it from somebody else like on eBay or some kind of shop in Japan and it, I probably would have had to pay like more than a hundred dollars for it. Hayes Mega wouldn't pay that much because you know, uh, the retail price is around like sixty seventy dollars okay so how much did Hades Mega get this for? I got it for a whopping seven thousand eight hundred four yen about almost seventy dollars okay and the shipping was eight hundred thirty yen okay which is close to five dollars so total damage eight thousand six hundred seventy yen like 85 bucks or something so pretty pretty expensive toy <laughs> not gonna lie okay but he's is a big fan of kawasaki motorcycles and kawasaki dual sports interesting thing to note when i went to japan i i went to the jg sdf uh visitor center i believe it was in saitama it it was near, uh, I remember it's it's past uh, Ikebukuro a little bit, okay? You have to take the train a little bit farther from the center of Tokyo. Uh, but there, there's a place called the JGSDF Visitor Center, and I went there, and they actually had a motorcycle on display. Now, it was not this motorcycle. I think the motorcycle they used before the KLX250 was the KLR250. An interesting thing to note, Hades Omega learn to ride on ride a motorcycle on a Kawasaki KLR 250 okay there's uh, that's why uh, this motorcycle has a special place in Hades Omega's heart <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say okay I learned to ride on a very similar motorcycle okay um, and th it is what the JG SDF forces use uh, I think they use it for a recon or something okay I'm not really I'm not 100% on that but I've seen them like do demonstrations and stuff on them on, on YouTube's okay um, but the one I did, the one I did get to see was a KLR 250. Check out the pictures right here. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I got it from Hobby Link Japan for 7,800 yen and 8,600 out the door type thing. Okay. At, at my door. Okay. So that's how I got it. All right, so uh, it is a uh, 112 scale pre-painted motorcycle uh, model, pretty much. Okay, and it, this is the DX model, so it comes with some extra goodies. Okay, um, I didn't know it had such a cool looking box too. Okay, um, all right, so uh, let's go take a look at the box. The box looks pretty interesting. I just cleaned it up. I had a bunch of soda stains in it. This has actually been sitting in my room for like a year now, so I'm finally getting around to doing a figure show and tell on it. Okay. So here we go. It's a 112 scale, so all your kind of figmas will fit on it. All right. It's a 112 scale military series. So I don't know if they, Tommy Tech has any other 112 scale uh, military uh, um, models. Okay, is what I'm gonna say. There's a picture of the. It's like a, a very nice illustration of a uh, KLX 250. Okay. And there's an anime girl on it. I don't know who it really is. She's got a bayonet right here. Okay, and then that's their, that is the uh, their assault rifle. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's their assault rifle. That's a Type 89 assault rifle, 
that the Japanese ground self-defense force uses. I've never seen one in, I don't think I've seen one in real life, I'm not sure. Okay, um, and then yeah, they got the illustration of the motorcycle here. It's getting getting sideways there, you know, and then there's a helmet right here. Okay, they use, they use an open face helmet or like a three quarter um, face helmet type of thing. Okay. Okay, so this is LM002. Okay, so the uh, the uh, the other one is uh, LM001. Okay, so the the DX version here. Okay, it says DX right here, deluxe. Um, is LM002. The LM001 is just it's basically just the motorcycle. Okay, this has a couple extra accessories with it. That's kind of why I wanted it. It's the newer. It's a newer also. So, okay, very nice illustration. It says copyright 2013 Tommy Tech. Illustration by, er, I cannot read it, sorry. It looks like it's in Hiragana too. I'm, I should be able to read it, <laughs> okay? Anyway, um, I will put a subtitle below if I could find the, the illustrator for this. Uh, okay, and uh, and yeah, and then I can't read the rest of this because Hades Mega can't read Japanese. Uh, but it is the KLX 250 DX version, deluxe version, all right? Um, and then we'll open up the, there is a flap right here. We'll open it up and check that out after we've gone over the rest of the box okay so there it is there's the uh there's an actual picture of the model right there with a figma on it i believe that was the one of the little armory uh figmas okay and then she's got the same rifle um i don't have any of the little armory uh, um figmas by the way so this is it's by tommy tech and then it's a 112 scale military series okay uh this is also this is a figma sp-071 okay if, if you're wondering which figma that is okay um i guess she's probably fits it pretty good or something um i don't think you would i don't think you would stand up on the bike like that and shoot unless the bike was supported like that <laughs> okay i'll tell you that now you probably want to stop you know and then shoot not be standing on the bike all right uh, and then there's pretty much the same info right here I have never shot from a motorcycle, by the way. Um, I should try it sometime. It sounds kind of dangerous. All right. Um, okay. LM002, all the info right here. There's a picture of the motorcycle from a different angle. Okay. Um, it looks very similar to KLR250. Okay. Um, it has a Type 89 rifle right here. And then there's a radio. Hayes Omega, by the way, Hayes Omega um, does communication stuff the army when he was in the army so it's kind of kind of little info info there so and then that's their helmet right there that's yeah, pretty cool looking helmet i wonder if i can get something like that <laughs> um it looks like a trials helmet, helmet is what it is okay and then it looks like there's a there's um a, a bunch of rifle the rifle accessories and, and stuff are, are on sprues and stuff so you have to construct it okay so i don't know i don't know if i'm going to construct it for you guys but it looks like when you're done it's gonna look like that okay um, and then here you got a picture it does come with mirrors it comes with the helmet it comes with the radio rack okay so there's a radio there's actually a radio rack or a radio, uh, radio pannier rack okay that goes on the side of the bike you put the radio on there okay it's a it's probably an FM radio uh, it's a JPRC dash F10 dash or uh, backslash 11 radio okay PRC then uh, I know about uh, PRC radio it's like a multi it's kind of like a multi-band radio or something I think okay um, the army usually uses like FM comm sort of sort of um, okay yeah and then that goes in the radio rack right there okay and then here there's another picture of the bike here with a different Figma on it okay so um, it's showing that yeah your Figmas will fit on this bike okay um they have or it could be a, any kind of 112 scale action figure okay um, so this is a 112 scale it'll fit all the 112 what, what's a 112 scale figmas that's the only thing i could think of <laughs> oh yeah there is those uh the freeing s style uh swimsuit figures are 112 scale also so you can't, probably can't put them on the bike but you can put them they'll they'll scale with the bike okay that's what i want to say all right and then there's the side shot of the box it has a side profile picture of the motor the actual uh motorcycle okay and um 
it has one of the kind of handlebars and one of the rack in the back and they're showing here the the back suspension works okay all right just like just like the the civilian model KLX okay and then uh, before we check the top and the bottom out let's take a look at what's inside the flap okay I'll, I'll go up a little higher okay so there's the actual motorcycle inside the box you can see nice um, I would say this would probably make a good display uh, box display figure if uh, if you can keep the flap open like that <laughs> okay and there's also nothing it just kind of it just kind of floppy there's no velcro there's no magnets to hold the the flap open okay all right so there you got the bike you got the helmet the radio the mirrors and I think I don't see the weapon okay there's no I don't see the word the weapon must be hiding in there somewhere okay all right and then move the camera up here and check it out it's a it's basically info about the uh, the goodies inside okay basically what the model is okay so we got the all the information here there's a picture of the side view of the motorcycle again and then um, this is info information about the KLX 250 uh, I can't read it sorry guys um, if if somebody uh, can read Japanese and you could translate that um, please uh, please uh, do so in the description below uh, that would be great <laughs> okay but uh it looks like a it looks like in 20 it looks like in 2017 that's when they started writing these so not too long ago um, it's 2020 now so that's what it says but it's based off a of KLX 250 is what it is okay it's a uh, it's like an it has an electric start I know that that's the biggest difference and it's a little it's better than it's a little more modern than the KLR 250 okay and then there's some info about the helmet and stuff here there's some info about the assault rifle the type 89 assault rifle and then information about the radio here and then some specifications here okay um, they can, it can go 135 kilometers an hour how fast is that not very fast <laughs> about like 70 80 miles an hour or something like that okay and it weighs 154 kg I'll put a subtitle below what that is in pounds okay all right so that's what's inside okay the so flap. this one might be a little bit longer than uh, other show-and-tell videos because there's a lot there's a little more stuff in this video okay there's the top of the box it shows the bike from a certain angle with all the accessories same information and on the bottom, it's just, uh, it looks like some dirt. Yep, <laughs> it's just some dirt. All right. Okay, let's go unbox it. Okay, I'm going to unbox it, and I'll tell you now, I will go get the other Kalex. Okay, surprise, here we go. I got my... This is going to be our rider for the... For the the JGSDF KLX and she's already riding a KLX so this is this is the other Tommy Tech KLX 250 okay and that is Raimu Kawasaki from Bakuon okay all right so let's go uh, let's go open this one up okay so before uh before I put the box away, that's what the inside looks like. It looks like there's some, you can make a ramp out of the box. Yeah. yeah that's what it looks like. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, so there's a little, it's, you can do some kind of origami with it and make a ramp out of it. It's interesting. Okay. And, uh, and then there's a picture of, like, a kind of, I think that's like a, I think that's like the training grounds near Mount Fuji, at the base of Mount Fuji. There's a bunch of military bases there. I think that's what that is. Okay. I did kind of pass by Mount Fuji and I saw that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> okay. Um, so this is the stuff, other stuff that came out of the box. So there is some uh, assembly required. Okay. Okay. So these are the extra accessories that come with it, the deluxe version. Okay. It has a bayonet here. Okay, I don't think it should be all black like that, so it, it, it does require some painting for it to look realistic, okay. Um, there's a closed um, bipod 
and then there's an open bipod okay so if you want to have the bipod out or or the legs in okay um, and then I'm not sure what this is these are the hand guards okay yeah these are the hand guards right here okay and then right here this is the um, the receiver with the handle and this is the buttstock and these are magazines okay looks like there's two different size magazines I think I think this is just a loose magazine is what it is all right and then there's a small magazine if you want to insert it into the rifle okay okay and then there's the barrel assembly okay all right um, I don't I don't think I'm gonna assemble that guys all right maybe some other time okay and then this is a little another baggie that came with it and it's sealed so I have to cut it open okay it looks like an instruction manual of some sorts Okay, so that's uh, the Type 89 rifle right there, assault rifle. That is the uh, standard uh, uh, assault rifle for the JGSDF. Oh, okay, this is the manual to how to construct it, okay? I'm not going to construct it, but that's how it goes. Not too hard, wouldn't take too long. I, You can probably paint it like a matte black too, probably, or like a, a, a dark gray finish. Okay. So yeah, like I like I mentioned, that magazine, the sh the smaller magazine is the one that goes inside the rifle. Then you get they give you an extra one to display out outside. Okay, and then you got the bipods you can mount on there. Okay, if you wanted to, or you you don't have to mount the bipod. Okay, it has a folding stock too. Oh okay, I guess you can have it folded and and extended too at the same time. Or not at the same time, I mean like you pick. Okay, and these are the tools you need to uh, to construct it is uh, glue, a knife, a small knife and a big knife, and tweezers and uh, and, a, and nippers, okay? And this is what you get. And we already I already went over all the sprues and stuff, okay? So that is that. That's the instructions for the uh, Type 89 rifle. Okay, let's continue uh, unboxing. Okay, there they are. So that's the uh, JGSDF KLX 250 right next to the uh, civilian KLX 250. I kind of like the looks of the civilian one better. Uh, the headlight looks nicer. Basically, I don't even think they updated the design of the, uh, the KLX 250, the JGSDF bike. Um, a lot of the, so yeah, we can com we can kind of compare both bikes. We'll compare co both bikes later. Okay, how about that? There are some things I'm noticing right now on the bikes, okay. Um, Eddie's Omega has ridden a KLX 250 before, also by the way. I uh, and also own a KLX 140, and it's a, it's very similar, okay, in design. Okay, so uh, so here we go. I went through everything else. Um, this is the uh, this is the motorcycle right here. It comes fully assembled, okay. It's on the side stand right now. It has a functional side stand. Um, it comes with a a center stand of some sort, or it's a rear stand is what it is okay and you're supposed to prop up the the what is it the the sprocket on it okay the sprocket and the the, the rear brake rotor okay here's your helmet right here okay and then there's these are the mirrors right here okay i know they're kind of hard to see and there's the radio okay okay so here's the radio okay it this is the uh the nomenclature is a jprc dash f10 dash uh, backslash f11 okay that's, that's the kind of radio this is this is the radio that the Japanese use I wonder if it looks like oh, I don't know it doesn't look very advanced radio <laughs> so let's say there's no but I've never seen one in, in real life okay I don't know if, I, I I don't know what that was would be look like in real life okay but it does look like a military radio okay it's very it's very slim I'll tell you that um, okay, and it has like a hand mic on it. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, it's kind of got like a raised X on it. Yeah, so I think the two halves clamp down on the faceplate right there, and it's, there must be a back plate. No, there's no back plate. Oh, it's interesting. Okay, um, so I will go install that on the motorcycle.
thing is so hard to get in there i wonder if i'm gonna be able to get it out now <laughs> okay but there it is and it just kind of i kind of don't like how the hand mic just kind of hangs around there is that really how they ride around with it <laughs> i'd imagine that thing would fall out pretty easily okay all right so there it is on the bike okay that's pretty much the only accessory besides the mirror that you can put on the bike and then there's the helmet okay uh raimu is already wearing a helmet so i'm not going to put it on her okay but there's the helmet. you can right. either um display it with the side stand down okay or on the center stand okay this uh, the rear stand the rear stand has an arrow right here okay that points forward so that obviously that's where you want and actually there's a hole right here actually the other one doesn't have that there's a hole right here to put the with the tire must be something they updated with it okay so basically that goes in there okay and then you gotta you gotta get the uh the rotor and the sprocket lined up in there okay and you can have the you can have the side stand up or down and then you can move the handlebars okay handlebars move They were saying the suspension moves, and indeed it does. Okay, the this side stand moves okay. also. Um, okay, and the tires, the wheels move. Okay, the front moves, and the back moves. Okay. All right, all right. So let's go. Uh, let's take a closer look at the uh, the motorcycle and just. Uh, I'll talk about all the little details on it, and then we can compare it to the civilian model KLX if you guys want. <laughs> okay, there it is. This is the JGSDF KLX 250, okay? This is currently in service with the uh, Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force, okay? Um, I don't believe the U.S. Army uses motorcycles, except maybe the Special Forces, and I, do the, I know the Marines use the KLR 650 for like a recon motorcycle thing okay and they have to ride them on the beach because they're marines so <laughs> so i've heard his mega's ridden a motorcycle on the beach and it's not easy okay um all right so let's go take a look at this bike let's start from the front moving to the back okay so here you got i think i believe it has a 21 inch front wheel okay and then it has like a pedal rotor that's what that is and it's kind of like swiss cheese and everything um and it has a dual piston caliper here okay it also has upside down forks i believe yeah 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 it has upside down forks because these are the fork guards right here okay the the stanchions are right behind here but you can't see it the stanchions would be chrome too and it's not the stanchions are black i whether the uh i don't remember if the klr 250 that i saw had uh black stanchions i guess you could have them black but usually they're chrome okay um maybe they're just black because maybe it's a military bike you know um yeah the rims are black too the rims are black and the spokes are black so uh whether the uh the real one has um black spokes and black wheels i do not know okay it probably would have black wheels i know uh, but definitely uh, a lot of the stuff you s on military bikes they use a lot of flat colors, okay? They don't want, you, they want to not reflect light, okay? Because then, then people can see you, you know? It's got to be camouflaged. All right. Okay, there's the tires. I think they're the same tires as the other KLX 250. I'm not sure what tires they use stock, okay? Okay, and there's the front fender. It has a... I guess that's the JGSDF logo right there. Okay. It's like kind of okay. like a flower. Yeah, that's that that symbol right there. It's JGSDF symbol. Okay. Um, interesting to note, it's uh, it is not like a pointy fender like the KLX 250, uh, and we'll see that when I compare both of them. Okay. But yeah, it's got this kind of olive drab green fender. Okay, and there's the other side of the fork. All right, let's take a look at the uh, the front. Uh, front fairing or front number plate there's a uh, a guard okay a metal guard all over it to protect the I guess it's to protect the headlight okay and then to mount other accessories on it okay looks pretty beefy 
okay um there's a it has like a, a kind of a it has a light protector okay is what it is it's a, it's a grill okay um, what this other stuff it's protecting i don't know okay but it looks like the blackout light is um is mounted on it okay so military vehicles have what's called blackout lights okay and i guess the japanese use the same thing um when you're riding at night with uh night vision goggles or you know if you just don't want to you know you you're going to ride around at night and you don't want to attract attention you ride out in black and blackout light with blackout lights okay so the enemy can't see you so easily so you can just barely get enough lights to see <laughs> is what it is but but the these blackout lights actually work if you have nvgs it looks like the, it looks like a normal headlight it's it's kind of crazy I, i've used them before it's a very very dim light is what it is so that's the blackout light right there okay and then there's a turn two turn signals okay it looks like it is mounted to this um this guard assembly here okay this brush guard assembly looks pretty strong i think that's if you know if you drop the bike it it protects it but the handlebars you know are supposed to do that okay it's all all of green color it says kawasaki here on the front let me get it let me zoom in okay guys. there's there it is there's a close-up of it so the guard the headlight protector blackout lights and then you've got uh turn signals the left and right turn signals okay uh okay what's next let's go with the handlebars so the handlebars from the front have uh uh, brush guards okay they're just brush guards they're not hand guards they don't have a they don't have the bar going to the thing okay to the handlebar so it's it's actually just there to protect for you from like leaves and little branches and stuff but uh it, it doesn't actually protect the bar or or your hand if it was to hit like something really hard like a like a tree or something okay it looks like it just has some normal black um handlebars okay i'm not going to go over the controls too much it doesn't look like there's too much detail on it anyway okay but uh you can see that uh it has yeah. there's the handlebars this is the right handlebar controls and the left handlebar controls twist throttle okay there's a clutch and brake lever there's a kill the red there's a kill switch in red right there um, I'd imagine these are your blinkers and light functions. Okay, it's just a regular black handlebar. Um, I don't know what it looks like in real life. I wish I okay, had one. There's an even higher angle. Okay, there's a dash right there. That looks like the same exact dash that's on the KLX 250, okay? Um, or, or a gauge cluster. That's what they use, okay? There's a brake line right here, okay? It goes from the master cylinder to the, uh, the front brake. Okay, and I think that's uh, that's it for the front. It does have this, it, you know, I did notice that. It does have this pretty beefy uh, plate right here supporting the, the front uh, number plate. Or there's the, okay. the meat of the bike. Uh, this is their side plastics. Okay, there's a Kawasaki logo on it. And it's pretty open to allow for cooling. It has a 250cc single cylinder motor. I believe, I believe it's, it's water cooled. So yeah, it's water cooled. There's a radiator right here. I think you can probably see it. Yeah, you can see the radiator right here. So it does actually have a radiator and it's painted like silver and black, okay? Okay, and you can kind of see behind it, there should be a fan on the back of it and I believe there is. Okay, another Kawasaki logo right here. Okay, and then there are these uh, kind of guard, engine guards right here on the side. So like if you tip the bike over, it doesn't, you know, protects it. I'd imagine, I think they do like these maneuvers where like they put the bike on its side and they have to like shoot from it and stuff, so. Okay. Uh, okay, and then there's a gas cap up here. It's just black. There's not really much detail to it. Okay, but the the bolts here are silver. Okay, and then there's the seat right here. It's just a long black seat, and 
then uh, since we're up here, let's go okay, take so a look at the rack. cargo rack back here. Okay, it has two more blackout lights here. Okay, maybe they're turn signals. I'm not sure. That's so your buddies behind you can see you. Okay. So yeah, we are right under the rack. Is those two more blackout lights, and then there's a tail tail light right there. Okay. So if you were to put this in blackout mode. Um, all these lights the, would not function and then just the, the blackout lights would turn on, okay? And it's a, it's a very dim light, okay? It's very hard to see. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at the engine. Um, so the engine is just all black, okay? The KLX, the civilian model is just silver, okay? But just all black. The exhaust is all black. I imagine that's what it looked like on the real bike. It's probably all just painted black, okay? It looks like there's some kind of guard here or something. Okay, unfortunately, there's no guard for the master cylinder, though. I don't know what that guard is for. Okay, um, there's an air box right here. This looks like the um, the rear master cylinder. Or, the, no, this is the rear master cylinder reservoir is what it is, okay? Um, then here's your right foot peg and the brake lever right there, okay? On the other side here, you can see this uh, water hose that goes to the radiator here. There's your starter right there. It's a pretty accurate representation of a real motorcycle engine. Okay, there's your shifter, the left foot peg. This is the left side cover. Um, I don't know what this is. I'm not really sure what that is. <laughs> um, it could be a, um, a voltage regulator. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> okay, to, do, to be honest, okay. Maybe it's some secret military doohickey. I don't know. Okay, and then you can see the rear shock right there, and the rear shock does actually work. Okay, there's actual springs in it and stuff. There's the shock from the other side. It's kind of hard to see. It's like it's hiding behind the airbox on this side. Okay. Okay, let's move back a little more. Okay, there is the uh, side plastics right here. Okay. Same on both sides. Okay, there's the other side, and there is some kind of um, like a, a sticker on this side. Okay, I don't know if the real one. Ha I, I'd imagine the real one has something very similar to that. Okay, um, and then there is the rack right here, the rack supports. It's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of uh, supports, or it's got a lot of crash bars on it. Is what I'm talking about. There's a crash bar here. There's a crash bar up here where the headlight is. There's a crash bar right here. So definitely, you know, it, it's made to be, you know, crashed, <laughs> basically, okay? You, they want you to put it on its side, basically. Okay, you got a side stand right here, and it does function. I showed you that earlier. Let's go a little bit lower. Okay, there is the uh, chain right there, okay? Goes around the front sprocket and then the rear sprocket. The rear sprocket is silver, okay? The axle is just like a screw, okay? Same black wheels with black spokes. There's what the tires look like. I can't, I don't really know what tires those are. Mm, I'm, I'm not 100% on that. <laughs> what kind of tires those are? I don't, I think like it doesn't recognize them. Okay, there, there's the uh, rear brake line, okay? And then the um, the rear brake caliper and then the, the rotor right here, okay? And look, it even has the adjuster. Like, it's like one of those snail, I think it's a snail adjuster, I'm not sure. Um, okay, and then there is the rack on the other side, and then this side has the the pannier for the radio, okay? Okay, and then it does go to the top rack. Um, there's something over here. I'm not really sure what this device does. Yeah, I don't really know what that is. Maybe it's some kind of horn or something. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so there's another rack support right here. And it goes up over here to the subframe. It's a support for the subframe. Interesting thing to note, there is no support in the center for the, uh, for this is not a very uh, strong rack, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. So uh, a lot of uh, luggage, uh, um, heavy duty luggage racks for like putting uh, like adventure bike stuff would, uh, would have an actual bar that goes across back here, okay? To support this. If not, this, this whole assembly just goes like that, okay? So I don't know, I don't know how strong that is, man. Is the real one really like that? Does not have not a, not a support in the back? Okay, anyway, let's go look at the back. Um, I already kind of went over the lights on the on top. 
uh, there is a license plate light right here, okay? And there's a, a reflector and then the license plate. And the license plate is 11-4590, okay? Okay, there's some kind of box, black box back here. I don't know what that is. It might be a toolbox or something. Okay, a little storage box. I'd imagine they probably can put like bags and stuff here, you know? Um, that might be where you could put your right. Yeah, where do you put the rifle on the bike? That's a good question. I think they just want you to wear it, but some motorcycles actually have a rack, uh, a weapons rack on it. Okay, I don't know where it is on this. Um, they don't show you. Okay. Okay, and then there's the muffler right there. It's just black. It's kind of hard to see because it's hidden by the rack also. The muffler is like here, and it goes underneath the... Uh, um, also, yeah, there's a linkage right here for the shock and then there's a mud kind of like a mud guard here for the shock right there also um, We can take a look at the bottom. Okay, too. that's what the bottom looks like. Okay, there is it. There is a skid plate. Okay, you can see it right right here There's a skid plate. It just goes along the bottom, but there's like all these there's all the rest of the guards and stuff You don't really need a really beefy skid plate. Okay um, It's just there to so rocks don't get caught up under there Okay, and then you can see the shifter and the and the brake right there, okay. Um, and then you can kind of see the shock holding uh, onto the linkage right there, okay. Okay, so I think that's it. Okay, so uh, there's the two motorcycles side by side, okay. This is the civilian KLX 250 and this is the military KLX 250, okay. Um, they're very similar, but also there's some differences. I'll kind of note some of the differences I see. The spokes are not black, okay, but the wheels are black. Um, the fenders are different. The fender is a little pointier on this one than it is on this. This looks like the old KLR 250 fender is what it looks like. It looks exactly like the KLR 250 fender, okay? Um, or it looks like more like the, the fender on the KLX 140, actually. And the KLX 140 looks like that. It's all kind of stubby looking, okay? Um, the plastics are pretty much identical, okay? The seat's a little different. This one has a little strap on it. Okay, this one does not, and it's just all black. Um, there is a kind of tail pack right here. This one does not. This one has a rack on it, okay? You don't need a tail pack for there. Got a rack, okay? This has uh, passenger foot pegs. This one does not, okay? So I guess they don't let you ride with other soldiers on the back. <laughs> I just want to say. This has a silver, or kind of, yeah, it has a yeah, silver is the color that Kawasaki uses for their engines, okay? Um, and this one is just all black, okay? Same same engines, though. Um, it's got the same kind of side stand on it. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, same, the rest of the same details, okay? Just the color is different. A lot of the colors on the, the JGSDF bike are, are, are mil it, you know, a lot of military vehicles are all subdued colors, like really black and olive drab and stuff, okay? Um, this does have brush guards, okay? This one does not have brush guards. We can always add one at some aftermarket, you know. Um, the 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 headlights are different. Ah, yeah, okay, that's the biggest difference. Let me go turn the bike sideways. So yeah, the headlights are the biggest difference, okay? Um, this one has a more kind of sporty looking headlight, okay? It's more aerodynamic looking. It's got these kind of rounder, yeah, kind of ovally looking uh, turn signals. While this one has like it's like kind of more blocky looking. It's kind of more like the KLR 250, okay? And it's got this big old guard on it, okay? I'd imagine this this bike is a lot heavier than this bike. <laughs> it's because it's got so much extra stuff on it, okay? Um, yeah, and it does have the blackout li uh, lights on it. Okay, other than that, and those are the biggest differences. There's the horns. They still have horns, okay? And then there's another radiator right here on this side. Um... Okay, let's go take a, look, take a look at the back, and I think that's it. Okay, so there's the back. Aha, so the uh, the tail lights are much different too on the the versus the the military bike. Okay, this one has a more pointy tail light, kind of like a, you know like the front, and this one has a kind of more like square kind of tail light. It's that's the same tail light as the KLR 250. So it's like. I think all they really did is they just changed a couple little things <laughs> over to two KLR 250. It, it's like it, it's like you you crammed a, two, a KLX 250 with the KLR 250. Okay, 
This one has a kind of normal size number plate. This one has a kind of long, more rectangular looking, longer, longer looking one. This one has a long fender on it also. This one does not. Okay, this fender is like half the size of this one. Okay. Um, the tail lights are different, obviously, and it's got the blackout lights. Uh, the mufflers are different colors. Yeah, both of them do have this little box in the back here. I'm not really sure what this is. It might be a smog canister or a tool kit or something. I don't have a KLX 250, okay? I'd imagine your tool kit would be in here, okay? Um, but yeah, there is one here, and you can see it back there, and it's still white, okay? You can see it's 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 hiding back there, but it's white also, okay? Okay, well, I think that's pretty much it, besides the colors. Uh, everything else, look, uh, you know what, the swing arms look different too. One thing I notice is the swing arm is different. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, so this has the snail kind of just, snail type adjusters, the, the ratcheting one, okay? And this one has the ones that you have to adjust the, uh, the screw. It's more, this one's a little more precision, but I don't like this one. <laughs> this one has notches, okay? You just put it on a notch to adjust the chain, chain um, slack, okay? So the, the swing arms are actually different too. Interesting. There's a lot. There's actually a lot of differences between the two bikes. Um, they're not exactly the same. Okay. Yeah. And the frame is olive drab, and the frame in that bike is like all kind of lime green. Okay. But they do sell. I do know they sell KLX 250 with a camo paint job. Okay. So, at least in America they do. Okay. Um, yeah. I think that's all. Um, the uh, the civilian model is more flashy looking, okay, obviously. Okay, so if you guys want, okay, let's go see if uh, if Raimu Senpai can uh, can ride the uh, KLX 250 uh, JGSDF model. All right. Uh, okay, there you go. So there's a uh, Raimu Senpai on uh, the JGSDF KLX 250. All right, um, that's uh, you're looking at a like a like almost a three hundred dollar uh, figure set right there. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, it, I got this figure for sixty bucks, by the way, but it retail like you it sells for like two hundred to three hundred dollars now. Okay, it's because it's very hard to find that figure. Okay. Um, but anyway, there she is. She fits on there pretty well. I got her kind of like in a turning pose, sort of. The bike is turning to the left a little bit. She's not going too fast. But you can see she's looking where she's going, so. Pretty cool. She poses pretty well on it. Okay, her butt's off the seat a little bit. Um, she doesn't match it very well, I'll tell you that. Her, her uh, school uniform... Uh, sure stands out a lot on that bike <laughs> so I'm gonna say she looks a lot better on the on the green bike okay the the civilian model okay so that's the end of the video um I really like like the like the other KLX uh motorcycle I'm really happy with this these are really hard to find I don't even know if Tommy Tech sells any other kind of motorcycles that I know of okay um I know I think Max Factory sells some other motorcycles from like animes and stuff, okay? These aren't from an anime, okay? These are like actual real life, like this is basically a model, okay? It's a model of the military version of the KLX, okay? And then that is the civilian model right there, okay? Cool, all right. So I'll just get a couple uh, rotating shots of the, of the bike and that'll be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I don't know if you can find these anymore. Um, you might be able to find some of them floating around eBay and stuff. It, it, like I said, it took me two years to get this um, 
to, to get for them to get this uh, bike in stock like it like it's one of those it was one of those items that like it it was like uh when it came out it like disappeared right away or sold out right away so just people really bought them, bought them up and then and then they didn't make too many of them i guess and then i guess they made a second run and that's how i was able to get it okay um i don't know if you'll be able to find one i do see them pop up on amiami sometimes okay in the used uh the pre-owned uh figure section um, they do pop up i've seen i've seen it before okay uh, the lm001 and the lm002 okay lm001 is just the motorcycle i don't know if it comes with the rack and all that stuff i'm not sure but um i know it doesn't come with the accessories like the radio and the helmet and, and the rifle so okay um yeah i don't even know where you would put the rifle i don't even know what you could do with the helmet um you might be able to get it to fit on one of your figmas if you could take the hair off of it okay um, I don't know if you, if you can do something like that. Uh, you know what? You can. I have a Miku. Yes, I have a Miku where you can, where you can put a motorcycle helmet on her. Okay, so there are some figures. There are some motorcycle Figma figures. Okay, and this is one of them. Okay, this is not a. This is a SH figure art action figure. Is what it is actually. It's not. It's not really a Figma Figma. Okay, but it's a. Any 112 scale action figure will fit on this bike, as you can see here. Okay, but this one has the the grips to actually grab the um the thing so the this figure was made for motorcycles okay so you may need to find find a figure that that was designed to work with motorcycles because this one has a special hands but i guess you could probably put this hand on like an, any other action figure okay but this also also this one has a special skirt so she can ride on so she can sit on the seat too but i guess on the klx she can't really sit on it too well okay that's what i want to say but yeah, it like it kind of, kind of folds down in the front, so it doesn't it, the the skirt doesn't interfere with the gas tank and stuff. Okay, so yeah, there are other figures you can you can probably get to work on this because I know the Raimu figure is really hard to find. Okay, so good luck finding one. <laughs> um, the Miku one will probably work. Um, there's a there's a Evie Mirai Miku, or uh, yeah, there's there's two Evie Mirai Mikus. Okay, and I think uh, there's a uh, Selty Sturlson. From uh, do da 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 da, okay. Um, from do da da da, Selty Strelson um, rides motorcycles too, so she might there she might be able to ride on this because I think she has like a motorcycle helmet for a head, okay, because so, she don't have a head. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, watch a grown man play with uh, toys, okay? Um, it's awesome. There's the helmet. All right, here's my gal. Thanks for watching.